Hello everyone, welcome to the Printosaurus. Uh, today we're trying something uh, new. Uh, I've got these plates off of Amazon, uh, the Rainbow PEY and PEI plate was $16. Uh, this one was 20, which is the diamond pattern on the front and the carbon fiber on the back. So I've seen a lot of talk on these on the forums and print settings and getting them to print well and if they're worth it and this and that. So I figured we'd pick some up, we'll see what we got and let's get into it. So the first one we're going to work with is our PEY uh, rainbow pattern here. Um, I don't really see a need to test the PEI. We know that that works pretty well. So I think we're all more curious with what they're calling PEY. So for our rainbow PEY, uh, for print settings, we're gonna use our X1 carbons uh, to do this uh, print example for you guys. And uh, the big thing here is your plate type. What they recommend is to use the smooth PEI, high temp plate setting. Uh, so we're going to make that adjustment in our slicer. And then I'm gonna roll with just the default temperatures for PLA and we'll see what we end up getting. Here's a graphic that's showing the different build plates and then what plate type to use with your bamboo printer. So here we're gonna use the smooth PEI high temperature. We're gonna make that adjustment for plate type because uh, we're using the PEY rainbow uh, sheet. And we're also just gonna verify uh, to show you that I am using the default temperatures, which is 55 degrees Celsius. Now, one other thing that you can make an adjustment for if you have an X1 carbon is disable the detection of the build plate. And this way your printer won't yell at you uh, when you're printing. So we've made that uh, default print. Uh, the big thing too to remember is you gotta clean your plates when you get them. So make sure you're using your dish soap, you get them nice and cleaned, use your rubbing alcohol to kind of get any oils or anything lifted off of those surfaces. Um, but this is a first layer test here. Um, at the standard 55 degrees Celsius, and everything turned out really well. Uh, like I said, I didn't make any changes uh, other than switching to the PEI smooth plate, high temperature that they recommend uh, by the manufacturer of the PEI, PEY plate. Um, but first layer uh, looks great. was we printed a coaster here. Uh, this is from that uh, video game Fallout. Uh, I found these online the other day, I thought they were pretty neat. So here again, we're gonna use that rainbow PEY plate for this example for these coasters. We're gonna select that smooth PEI plate, high temperature, and then we're just kind of running through assigning our colors that we're using for this print on our AMS. So just standard workflow. Again, not changing any temperatures. And just to show you that I have shown in other videos is the color sequence. So if you hit that little um, gear look at icon on your build plate and then go down the first layer of filament sequence, arrange those in light colors to dark. And uh, that will uh, basically allow your print to be a little cleaner. You won't have as much color bleeding uh, with darks to light transitions, things like that. Uh, it results in a, a better print in my opinion. So go ahead and give that a try. And here's just a quick time lapse of that coaster. There we go. So here is our coaster that we printed with the rainbow uh, PEY. And you can see just a little flicker of that rainbow pattern uh, in this. It's actually kind of cool. It's very smooth. Uh, and, and this is gonna end up being a coaster. Uh, so it, I think it'll work pretty good and it looks cool. So pretty happy with how cool these look when they turn out, just a little bit of tuning needed to improve uh, print quality. Okay. Uh, turned out really well, a couple little artifacts in the first layer that we will work out, but overall adhesion was good, slight warpage, and we'll talk about that more here shortly. This is a straight edge that we're gonna use here and we've got a little bit of variance here. Um, it looks like it lifted on one corner. Um, otherwise, um, yeah, and, and it's lifted a little bit here on the hand as well, um, but it's not too bad. It's pretty straight. Uh, yeah, so you can see here, 
So there are some slight issues. So it did lift uh, adhesion wise. Um, so something to note and something we will play around with and continue to tweak and tune is to see whether or not we can really uh, add some, some better adhesion to this. I'm gonna try a glue stick just to see if that helps uh, with uh, you know getting this as flat as possible. Um, I did this one too. So this is on um, our PEI sheet. And even this with the bamboo PLA, um, if I don't turn off the aux fan and I leave that on, uh, this material just cools a little bit too fast and we get quite a bit of warpage with PLA on the X1 carbon. Uh, best way to print with that is aux fan off and then have the top uh, glass piece off the printer and then I open the door and I find that helps tremendously with getting things uh, flatter uh, when you're printing. The rainbow uh, sheet, uh, the PEY has worked uh, great. I didn't have to make any temperature adjustments with this particular plate either. Uh, everything really uh, printed smoothly and uh, better results than what I expected. Uh, I didn't really expect a whole lot as far as the carbon fiber. Um, I did have some success. I did a uh, first layer print and uh, transferred the pattern nicely. Uh, there's a couple of adhesion issues that we're working through as well. Um, what I found with the carbon fiber is you have to really keep this plate clean. So clean it with your dish soap, dry it off with a microfiber, and then when you're placing it in your printer, make sure that you're not touching it. Kind of hold it by the edges like this, slide it in place, and then I follow that up with a little bit of the um, alcohol just to kind of clean any residual prints off or oils. And uh, that gave me a pretty good uh, result here on this first layer print. And I found that lasts about two or three prints and then I've had to clean it again to get that adhesion to uh, be back to uh, where we could print. So this is just a quick time lapse of that carbon fiber plate, that carbon print. Here's one that actually messed up uh, due to some adhesion issues. And you can see those here. Uh, in both the green and the black um, on the surface there. So the diamond pattern um, turned out really well. I had a couple of issues with the plate with adhesion. Uh, it took a little bit to get that figured out. Ultimately, what it came down to was just really cleaning this plate good. And uh, I found that I've had to clean it after every single print. Um, now, I'm not sure if it's just this particular brand um, the link for this brand will be in the description. Uh, so if you want to check out the exact ones I used, uh, you know, more than welcome to purchase those. Uh, once I got the adhesion straightened out, um, this was definitely the best uh, first layer print. Um, if you flip it over and look at it, there's no issues with, um, you know, any lifting or anything like that. It's nice, it's flat. Uh, and like I said, there's no quality issues with this particular one. Um, when I did the carbon fiber, just to show you a couple of test prints um, here. And then honestly, you really can't see, uh, the carbon fiber looks good on the darker filaments, but uh, you really can't see it on the lighter colors. I'll show you here as a comparison, uh, the carbon fiber. So carbon fiber definitely shows up better on the black than it does the green or other colors I found. Um, so that's something to consider too. So here's just one more time lapse of that diamond pattern. And you can see here um, how much more pronounced uh, the pattern is compared to the rainbow next to it. The moment you've been waiting for. Do I think that the plates that I showed you today are worth it. And my answer to that would be, it depends. I found uh, the rainbow PEO plate to be useful um, if you're looking for uh, you know, a smooth surface with just a little bit of gloss to it. Uh, you can't really see the pattern extremely well. It's not as pronounced as say the diamond pattern. Uh, the diamond pattern really shows up well. It seems like this one works really good with um, a lot of different colors. What I found with the carbon fiber um, pattern is it really only shows up well on darker colors. So your blacks, your dark greens, dark blues, things like that. 
Um, I did a print on uh, light green, and honestly, you can barely see the pattern uh, at all. Whereas the black, um, you can see the pattern pretty good. You don't really have to look hard to, to notice it. And then the diamond pattern, as you can see here, uh, it shows up pretty well, even uh, at a distance with the camera. So if you do decide to give these a try, uh, drop a comment and let me know what you think of them. See if you uh, kind of came to the same conclusions I did. Love to hear from you. I really appreciate it. So please like, subscribe, and uh, leave me some comments. Let me know what you guys like. Let me know uh, what kind of videos you might be interested in seeing me do. And I'd be more than happy to put them out for you. Take care.